Hi everyone, this is Grace. How are you? Uh, today, I'd like to talk about how to sharpen your focus or what is your priority because I truly believe you are who you decide to be. You are who you decide to be. So whatever you say, what you are today, whether you are big, you are skinny, you have money, you don't have too much money, you have achieved your goal, you haven't achieved your goal, whatever you are, it's really a mirror image of what your heart decided. Not your heart desire, but what you have decided. And uh, you have to minimize all the unnecessary things to sharpen your focus. And this is what I do. Today, we are in a global mobile business. And that uh, we used to be sitting at the desk, working on your laptop or PC. But today, all you need is iPhone. And you can do business from your iPhone anywhere you are. So to me, iPhone is a very important part of my life. But my frustration is, Every time I go out or I'm ready to go out, I always have to look for my iPhone. Oh, where did I leave my iPhone? What is my iPhone? What is my iPhone? And uh, I, use, I use the landline to call my iPhone, but most of the time I make it in a vibration mode so I cannot find my iPhone. So I'm tired of it. So I come up with the idea. I order this from Amazon and uh, it just fits my iPhone 10 and I hang my iPhone from my neck, except uh, when I'm driving. When I'm driving, I have uh, this one. I just put my iPhone on my dashboard because I use navigation system. So that solved my issue. And now uh, you can now focus on what you want. And uh, again, uh, this is my personal belief, but really they say you your thought is your reality. So I believe your priority you have decided is your reality. And I've seen some ladies who used to be working as a career woman. And once she got married, especially in Japan, you know, my age is when the lady get married, usually they retire. I mean, not retire, but they leave their career to be a stay home mom. And then after the child grows up, maybe become high school, then she wants to go back to workforce. But her mindset is not there. So I've seen many ladies who wants to have six-figure income. But her priority is not there. For instance, if there is a you know, business convention or a business seminar, so they say, okay, let's go. Let's go to this business meeting. Then she would say, oh, Grace, that day is my kids' ballet performing day, or that's my boy playing basketball, so I cannot make it. See, when you say that, you put the priority to your kids' school activity over you making money and it's totally fine it's totally fine it's your life but what makes me uh, concerned is here you are you want to make six-figure income but you don't want to come to all the meetings or conventions or you know meet your prospects but you just want to be sitting at the kids basketball or baseball game so you really have to make up your mind that's my point if you really want to be serious about it, but don't just aim for six-figure income. And it's okay, but uh, most of the time, people may not make it because six figures is a, you know, require tough, hard work. And unless you have that determination, I would rather suggest you just to start thinking about maybe $300 or even $100 so that you can send your kids to like piano lesson 
maybe three hundred dollars to send the kids to I don't know summer school or maybe one thousand dollars in my area if you have a little kid you want to send them to Montessori uh, kindergarten it's about one thousand a month to eleven hundred dollars a month so you can start small just go <laughs> aim six figure income and here you are you are not ready emotionally so that's my point so please listen to yourself and see what your priority is and you have to focus on your priority it's okay it's good to dream big but if you dream big you want to have a six figure income seven figure income you have to be ready to have sacrifice without sacrifice you know people say oh yeah it's fun and it's easy to make money i don't think so maybe for some people yes but the way i have come my way it's not that easy it requires your commitment and the commitment is something you have to stick to it even your passion is gone it's almost like a marriage you know when you are in love you have so much passion but after marriage that's where the true love starts after the wedding ceremony i believe so you know the real marriage like me and my husband we've been married for decades and uh, uh, we may not be that passionate like when we were young but we have a commitment and we feel comfortable and we are faithful to each other so money is like that the career is like that your business is like that you have to have a commitment you have to have a determination that's why please sharpen your focus and you have to be clear about your mindset what do you want what you really want and listen to yourself what are, what are you speaking you said yes i want to have six figure money but oh grace i have to go to my kids baseball game you have to be sane once you have the same vibration then you can attract your dream all right that's all for today i'll see you tomorrow bye bye